I don't know. Natalie is honestly probably one of the best track athletes I've coached over my career. She's versatile. She can run the one, two, four, eight mile in a pinch. I don't know if she wants me to tell you that or not. Uh, she's willing to work really hard, always has been, and I think that's really helped her get to where she is as an athlete. Besides, she just loves athletics, and anybody who's going to succeed in athletics, I think they have to love it first. And uh, she is a young lady that has always loved sports, and I feel expect her to uh, do so. It's really been a privilege to coach her and uh, see him just give me a good one. Yeah, I just want to say thank you all for being a teammate or a supporter or a coach. I wouldn't be where I'm at without you guys, so thank you. today I am super excited and just being around like everyone that's been a part of my journey you know I had Miss Tunks that was my middle school track coach and all my track coaches and volleyball coaches and my palm coach and just having everyone that's been a part of my journey be here today and as I signed to my next four years it was an amazing time absolutely and uh, what made you want to choose not Central Methodist well, I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> what is that again uh, CMU Central Methodist University absolutely and what made you want to pick them out well, I went on a few visits and like CMU just really stood out to me. Their environment was just unmatched and the girls were all so sweet. And I already felt like I was a part of something special and I want to help build the program and make it be the best it can be. And I just really loved the environment and the coaches and the team and all of that. And what do you plan on studying while you're over there? Um, I plan on studying science of business um, with a entrepreneurship concentration. So that's what I plan on doing. And I'm unfamiliar. How far away is this college? It's about two hours from here. Oh, so you're yeah, not too really far not, from yeah, home. Not too bad. Okay, okay. And as far as uh, the rest of your plans uh, this year, of course, you're with the Palm Squad right now, yep. but a huge track, uh, track and field season coming up after a fourth place finish. What was it fifth? I'm trying to remember last year, but uh, after a huge finish uh, yeah. and uh, basically the whole crew's back with the exception yeah. of Haley Wilson. Uh, uh -huh. Kind of what's uh, what's the future like for you guys? I'm so excited for this track season, especially last year. I like kind of learned how I should be trained. Cause in the beginning, I wasn't training like to my fullest potential. Like I was doing more short sprint stuff, but now that I'm going to go in with mid distance, I feel like I'm going to go a lot further this season. And knowing my potential, I'm going to keep pushing. And uh, what's the plan for when you uh, transfer over to Central Methodist? Um, as for right now, I'm pretty sure they're going to have me do the 400 and the 800 and the 600 and indoor. And then I think they're having me do cross country, just like two meets to stay in shape. And really? I, yeah. Oh, so you're doing indoor track? Yes. It, it, so you're doing indoor track and outdoor track? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's year round? Yeah, year round. Oh, my goodness. And uh, how, how do you feel about that commitment right there? I'm excited. I have done indoor track before, just like by myself, like with a Pony Express track. So I'm kind of used to like that whole long year All right. commitment. All right. Well, no, that's all I got. Hey, I appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Natalie Gar, just a raw athlete, but uh, what made you guys want to sign her? Just her work ethic and energy. Uh, she brought a whole lot of energy on her visit. Um, her times, she has great range. She can run from the 100 to the 800, and so we're going to utilize her as much as possible. And uh, tell me about the deal today. Uh, how much does it help out in scholarships? Kind of what's going on today? So she's on a uh, track scholarship and she'll get partial academic. So it's partial academic, partial track. Wow, okay, okay. And uh, what made you, how'd you spot her? Kind of what made you want to go after her? Um, I kind of saw some of her films, some of her times, and I just felt like she had a whole lot of potential. So uh, we talked, she came up for a visit on campus and it, it it was a great fit, you know, for the both of us. I think it's going to be, you know, beautiful in the future. And uh, what's the process going to be like, you know, honing her from a high school track star to a college track star? Kind of what's that process going to start at? And uh, how, how, how well do you think she'll take on to it? Uh, it's definitely a process. It's a, an adjustment period, you know, just coming from the high school to the college level. But we're going to take our time. I think she'll fit right in. We have a great group uh, of young athletes that, you know, will kind of mold and build her. So she's coming into a program to where, like, you know, she'll have people to train with and work with. Um, but it's definitely a process, and we're just going to take our time and have fun with it. All right. Well, no, I appreciate your time, sir. You're good. And uh, first of all, <laughs> and first of all, uh, you've been with Nat for quite a long time, yeah. four years. 
maybe some change if you want to count some middle school work. Uh, yeah. What's it like seeing her, you know, sign her future today? Well, you know, I always knew she was a talented track athlete. When I was just watching her, and she was running middle school, so she's talked about, you know, continuing her athletic career after high school uh, in track. Um, so I'm really glad that you know she has this opportunity to do so, and it's well earned. It's a well earned opportunity as well. I think she'll be very well down there. Absolutely, and uh, you know, this she's an athlete, just yeah. a pure, raw athlete. How do you think her skill set's going to translate to the college level? Well, I think just the fact that she's versatile. I was talking with their uh, head coach here shortly before I chatting with you here, and uh, one of the things he said attracted him to recruiting her was just that she's versatile, that she's good for the one to the eight. And in college, um, you're not necessarily limited to just four events a meet. So the fact that she can plug some gaps on some relays in addition to open events and maybe even be a multi-event multi, a multi -event athlete, throwing some field events and some throwing events because she has the strength to do that. Um, I think just her athleticism will pay off in space for her. And uh, final question is maybe jumping ahead a little bit here, but uh, your team's coming back. I think it was a fourth, fifth place finish last year's yeah. state. Uh, the whole crew is back with the exception of Haley Wilson, yeah. who's going to be a huge hole to fill, but uh, how excited are you for the yeah, track the, season? I think the whole coaching staff's excited about it. A number of the athletes have even talked about track season already, which is not necessarily the norm because uh, a lot of them are multi-sport individuals. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, hard not to be excited. Um, last uh, spring was a great time. Um, guys team did well. Ladies team did exceptionally well. And you're right, um, we're pretty loaded coming back. So, uh, but you know, sports, the great thing about sports, uh, I think why so many people enjoy watching it is that it's unpredictable. You don't know what's gonna happen. So, uh, but just to be a part of the conversation, I think is exciting. All right, well, no, that's all I got. Hey, I appreciate all your right. time.